Have you ever tried to copy stuff from a website, like prices or product names, and it took forever? Well, there's a tool that can do it for you in seconds. It's called Browser Act, and it's like a smart robot that works inside your browser. Normally, you have to open a website, click things, copy data, and paste it into Excel. That's boring, slow, and easy to mess up. Other AI tools sometimes guess or give wrong results. But Browser Act doesn't guess. It follows real steps, just like a person would. Browser Act helps you collect data from any website automatically. It does the same steps every time, so your results are always correct. No coding, no tech skills, no mistakes. So, this is AI Web Scraper. The link is available in the description below. First of all, create an account here, log in with your Google account, and click the Launch button. Once you log in, you will see the dashboard. It looks like this. You have several main options, such as AI Workflow Builder, Quick Agent, and Integrations. Below those sections, you'll find Featured Templates. You can explore any template, try it out, and use it as a starting point. In the template marketplace, there are many ready-made templates for different tasks, scraping e-commerce sites, social media, news sites, or real estate listings. These templates are a great way to learn how Browser Act works and to save time. Let's start from scratch. Click Create. You'll see two options, Workflow and Agent. First, we'll test Agent Mode for a basic task. Agent Mode is ideal for quick jobs because you can give plain English instructions and the agent will run them. To create an agent, enter an agent name. For example, I'll name mine Amazon Product Scraper. The description field is optional. Click Create. Now, you'll be in the editor. At the top, you'll notice three tabs, Build, Run, and Log. We're currently in Build. In the Build area, you add instructions. Type a slash to add tools, such as Browser Control, Auto Sign-In, and other functions. I'll select Browser Control, tell it to open the Amazon website, and then I'll add a few simple instructions. When your instructions are ready, click Publish. Then, choose Publish as New Version. After publishing, click Run Now. This moves your agent into the Run phase. In the Run phase, you enter a prompt to trigger the agent. For example, I'll type, Search Amazon for wireless headphones category, extract the first 10 product names, prices, ratings, and links, then export as a CSV file. Click Send and wait a few seconds. Here's what the agent will do step by step. Navigate to the Amazon homepage to start the product search. Type wireless headphones into the search box and submit the search. Oh, extract structured data for the first 10 wireless headphone products. For example, product name, price, rating, and product link. Write all extracted results into a file. Name results.csv including headers, name, price, rating, link. Finish the task and present the results file. After it finishes, you can preview the output right in the interface or download the CSV file immediately. It's that simple. One command and everything is collected and saved. How cool is that? Now, let's talk about the second option called AI Workflow. If you want to perform deep or advanced data scraping, this is the perfect feature to use. So first, click on Create Workflow. Give your workflow a name, for example, Amazon Data Scraping. You can also enter a short description to specify what your workflow will do, then hit Create. And now, we're in the build stage. To get started, we need to set up everything step by step. First, we need to add some input parameters. Click on Add Parameter and give it a name. For example, I'll enter search keyword, then enable use default value and write wireless headphones. Once done, click OK. Next, click add again to create another parameter. This time, name it target URL and enter the website you want to scrape. In this case, Amazon. Now let's add one more parameter, click add again and name it product limit. I'll set this to 20, meaning I want to collect data for 20 products. Click OK to confirm. If the website you're scraping requires a login, you can easily add your credentials here. This helps the workflow access pages that need authentication. You can also choose the browser location or region, for example. 
USA, United Kingdom, Malaysia, Singapore, and many more. And if you want more accurate or region-specific results, you can even select the IP type, like residential. Now, it's time to build our scraping logic using nodes. Click on the plus icon and you'll see a node action library with many different options. First, select the visit page node in the description, type, navigate to the target URL. Next, click the plus icon again and choose input text. Here, write an instruction like enter slash search keyword in the Amazon search field. Now, click plus once more and select the click element node. Add a description such as click the orange search button to submit the search query. Next, we'll add a loop node to collect multiple products. Click the plus icon, choose loop and enter a description like target collection up to slash parking product limit qualifying products. Click the plus icon again and select extract data. This is where you'll define exactly what kind of data you want to collect. Choose a data field like full page and in the description type something like extract products from the current page. Now specify the details you want. For example, product name, product URL, review, count current price, original price store name or brand. You can even add filtering categories or filtering criteria. For example, only collect products that have active reviews within the last three days. Next, click the plus icon again and choose the pagination node. Then click the plus icon one last time and select finish output data. Under output format, you can choose your preferred file type like CSV, JSON, or XML. Make sure to check the option output as file so it saves the data automatically. Now that everything's ready, click publish and choose. Publish as new version. After that, click run now and then hit start. Wait for a few seconds while it begins the scraping process. In step one, it navigates to your target link. In step two, it inputs wireless headphones into the search field. In step three, it clicks the orange search button to submit the query. In step four, it starts collecting all the product data according to your defined nodes. Once completed, you'll see the output data file. It contains all the details we requested, like product titles, brand names, store ratings, pricing, product links, discounted prices, and original prices. You can preview the results directly or download them instantly with just one click. Web scraping used to be complex and technical, but now it's easy, fast, and no code. The link is in the description below. Go check it out and start automating your own data collection today with Browser Act. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. See you in the next one.